Hello everyone, it's Mary here, back again with another adult and teen craft here at the library, at least online. This week we're making paper succulents. You can see an example here, just a little paper guy that won't die on you. If you have trouble with succulents, this can be a nice alternative. Um, and what you're going to need for this craft is just two pieces of green paper. You can either, if you have green paper at home and a printer, you can print off the template that you need at home. I'll include instructions in the description below. If you don't have a printer, hopefully you found out that you could pick up supplies here at the library via curbside. Um, other than that, you're gonna need scissors to cut out the leaves, and you'll need some glue to glue down the leaves. And then some optional things you might want uh, if you're really detail oriented and like things to be perfect, get yourself a ruler for tracing the size or drawing out the size of the base. Or you can also find something circular that's about the size that you want the base to be and just trace around that. Uh, other than that, uh, some optional things that I used I used a little thing like this, a poker, to poke down some of the leaves so that they stuck and I didn't disrupt the other leaves. And you can also use something round like this at the end to curl the leaves and give them this nice, this nice curl that you see on some of the outer leaves. Okay, so we'll get right to that and I'll see you in a bit. Hello everyone. So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your printed green template. First thing you're gonna do is just cut up all of these petals, or not petals, these leaves that we'll be using later. So, actually I think I'm gonna cut them in strips first. I think that'll make it easier. Well, maybe. They kind of go up and down here a bit. that's good enough so just you'll just take your time cut up all these leaves doesn't have to be perfect I don't know any succulent that's completely perfect or symmetrical it's kind of the joy of plants is seeing what kind of crazy leaf they're gonna sprout next Hopefully it's not one that is damaged and that you have to figure out what's wrong with it. Sometimes they sprout smaller than usual leaves. That's always interesting. Maybe you have to figure out if you're underwatering or overwatering or if you need to move it to a better light source. most time-consuming part of the craft. The whole craft does take about an hour and depending on how detail-oriented you are this part could take longer than the rest of it. Again, make it as perfect or imperfect as you'd like. I'm not going to make you watch while I cut the rest of these. I'll meet you at the end, so go ahead and finish cutting up all your petals and then come back and meet me at the end of that. Ta-da! Okay, now that you have all of your pieces cut up, you're going to go ahead and separate them by size. You should have 10 of each size. Um, 10 large, 10 medium, 10 small. And if there's some print on the edges of some of them, that's fine. You can just flip them over and use the side without print on it. Um, so we'll get those separated. And the next thing we're 
going to do When you're done cutting up all your leaves, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut out a one and a half inch in diameter circle for your base. Now, you can either do that just by measuring on your paper, or you can find something that is one and a half inches. This is just a bit over, but that's fine by me. Um, now, I don't know about you, but one and a half inches seems a little small for the size of the leaves. So I'm actually also going to cut a two inch circle just in case. So I found two things that are the right size and I'm just going to trace a circle. Just investigate what you have around your house. I'm sure you've got something that is about the right size. Just get your circles. Since this was slightly over one and a half inches, it's not that much different than the two inch one, but I don't know if the, I'm not good at tracing. I'll have to turn that page. Hopefully you're better at tracing than I am. Close enough. Yes, we do have sprinkles just lying around the library. We are weird. All right. And then just cut out those circles. And don't worry if you have any straggler lines in the circle. You can just flip it over and use this other side for your the top of your base so that you can't see the parts where you messed up. And again, your circle does not have to be perfect. One and two. And then you can just recycle the rest of your paper. Okay, there we go. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut about a one inch slit in the bottom of each of the large and the medium um, uh, leaves. And you can either use a ruler to measure that out or you can just guess at it. I don't think it matters that much. So just cut that. if that's an inch. I think that's about an inch. Uh, it's about an inch. Do a little bit farther. Again, it really doesn't matter that much. Okay. I hope that you're enjoying this craft. I thought it might be a fun one. Any of you out there have succulents? If you have some, go ahead and share them in the comments. Give us some pictures. We'd love to see what your home jungles look like. Or if you have a favorite succulent or a favorite indoor plant. I'm really into syngoniums right now. They are an arrowhead shaped leaf. They're called aeroids, I believe. Um, there's a lot of different arrowhead shaped leaves. So now we're just going to go through and we're just going to fold them over like this. So you can see how it kind of curls up the leaf. So you just kind of fold it and then you'll use your glue stick to make the overlap stay in place. If you can open your glue stick. And if you want, take a piece of scrap paper to use so you don't get glue all over your table. Use this or scrap. And you're just gonna see what side's the right side, this side. 
put a bit of foil on there, fold it over, and just press it together. And it should stay. Yeah, it stays. And then just go through and do that for each one of both the large leaf and the medium leaf. Curls up and looks more natural that way. It's a natural leaf shape. Do same with the medium leaves. Just find the side that doesn't have the any writing on it. Just same thing. Then you fold it so it forms the leaf shape. Just get those ones done as well. next thing we're going to do is we're going to take all these small leaves now and we're going to slightly fold up a quarter inch of the bottom and again you can kind of guess at how far that is it's just going to be a little bit of the bottom so just kind of fold up the bottom like that just kind of fold the bottom a bit and that's so that you have something to glue it on with so just quickly just go through and Tuck the bottom up a bit. Probably easiest to just guess at a quarter of an inch. Just enough space so that you have enough room to glue it to the base, the plant base. We're going to start by putting five leaves around the base, five of the large leaves. See, I think that looks, that's like, I mean, we want it to be a nice full plant, but that looks a little, a little hard to fit everything. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just... You know what, the instructions say an inch and a half. I'm gonna just try the inch and a half. Um, if you wanna try the two inch, go ahead and do that, but I'm gonna keep going with the inch and a half. I need another piece of scrap paper. I think this, I can still use this piece. Okay, so let's get our base. So we're just gonna put five of the leaves equidistance apart around the base. So I'm just gonna kinda do a circle of glue and then we'll just stick the leaves on and see if they stay if they don't I will try it with the white glue it looks like it's gonna stay and the other nice thing about glue stick glue is I feel like you have a bit of leeway so if you have your spacing off you have a bit of time to pop that leaf off and try to place it again. Yeah, I think the one and a half is definitely the way to go. And one more, and that looks like it's about, well, that looks nice. Okay, you can see how it's already starting to look like a succulent. Look at that. Okay, I'm a little worried about Pulling the leaves off. Okay, look at that. Okay, now we're gonna go around again and we're gonna put the, the next batch of leaves a little bit inside in between all of the five we previously put there. So we'll just put down more glue. 
You give yourself a nice glomp to get stuck on there. And just go around and just slightly in so that it has some um, depth to it. Just in between your previous circle. We're just going to keep doing this with the large leaves, and then we'll do it with the medium leaves, and then we'll do it with the small leaves. ones are kind of going to nestle in between here. You try not to tear your plant apart as you put down more glue. Just be gentle with it. Make sure you get enough glue down so that it'll stick. Then we'll take our medium leaves and we'll just go in between the large leaves. starting to get more dimension. Get some glue. You might have to add some glue as you're going. That's fine. back and do another round of medium. Now can anyone, does anyone care to guess what kind of succulent this looks more like? At least to me. Anyone want to comment below what kind of succulent you think this, the proper name of the kind of succulent this looks like? give you a couple seconds before I tell you what I think it looks like. I don't know all the names of succulents. Succulents are kind of hard to keep track of the proper names. But this one is a pretty common one. I think I might be missing a leaf here. No, I've got enough. Okay, I think this looks like an Echeveria, actually. Echeveria have these kind of rosettes. You often see them called rosette succulents. Okay, look at that. Now we just have to glue those small leaves in. Very cute, I love it. All right, now this one, you might want something to kind of poke down in the middle and push these leaves down. Um, maybe the back of a paintbrush or the back of a pen. Something that you can poke down, maybe a knife, like a butter knife. Um, something you can press these leaves down in there with. I'm gonna use my tiny knife but tiny utensils. I enjoy tiny, tiny utensils. I like to eat with tiny forks just because it amuses me. Let's go ahead and... I've got a lot of overlap going on here, which is fine. Uh, just kind of find where your edges are. Put in more glue if you need it. you're kind of going to be going up on the edges of some of your other leaves now. That's fine. There we go. That worked nicely.
Yeah, some of my in between parts have gotten lost a little bit. Just do your best. It's not going to be perfect. Making myself a wonky Echeveria. Exactly in between, it's okay. Does not matter. Okay. All right, and one more. We'll just squeeze them in there. And then we'll have our. Oh, that one's coming up a bit. That's okay. Just tamp it back down. Okay, one more layer. You try to get those ones nice and in the middle so you've got that nice little kind of rosebud at the center. Now I want to see pictures of all your succulents. So make sure you comment down below and share pictures with us. So we can see what your succulents look like. Yours might look completely different from mine. No two succulents are quite identical, like anything in nature. Okay, look at that. That looks pretty cute. Look at my little succulent. Okay, there's one more little bit of thing you can do. And that one and a half inch was a perfect size. If I'd done two inches, it would have been too much. Um, one last little thing you can do. Carefully peel up your succulent from the paper below if you use that. If you'd like, you know, this is again up to you, like anything you do, you can take a pen or pencil and you can kind of wrap the outer edges, I'm going to use this paintbrush, around and kind of curl the outside of the leaves. So if you decide to put it in a little cute pot, that'll help prop it up in the pot. Alright, there you go. You can also, if you want, you can then kind of go inside and curl the interior ones in a bit might be more complicated especially now that while it's still drying or just kind of encourage them to kind of fill in and look fuller but look at that there you have it a paper succulent that you can prop plop down in anything you could make them in a whole bunch of different colors different shades of green make yourself a nice little succulent garden that's never gonna die and that's that I hope you enjoyed it welcome back and you've did, done it you've made your own paper succulent I hope it turned out okay please include pictures of what you made in the comments below I'd love to see what you made and join us back in a couple weeks when we'll be making something out of um, egg cartons I believe we're gonna make egg carton wall hangings so check online, um, we'll put a post up. If you love eggs, save those egg cartons. We're gonna be making something fun out of them in the next couple weeks. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.